In this video, we will be giving an overview on measuring parallel straightness using the Renishaw XK10 alignment laser system. Firstly, depending on the type of casting and space constraints, mount the launch to either the tripod or fixture kit. In this demonstration, we will be using the launch secured to the tripod using the tripod mount. The launch is then visually positioned so that it is square to the axis of measurement. Power on the launch unit and remove the optical dust cap. Next, the launch is leveled to the casting. Mount the M unit to the rail nearest to the launch and position so that the beam hits the centre of the target. Move the M unit to the farthest rail from the launch. Adjust the pitch of the launch so that the beam hits the centre of the target. Move the M unit back to the nearest rail and check that the beam is on the centre of the target. If not, repeat alignment. Now the pentaprism can be assembled. Mount the pentaprism translation stage to the magnetic base using the four screws to secure. Next, the pillars are screwed into the translation stage and the pentaprism is then secured onto the pillars using the thumb screws. The pentaprism is then moved to a suitable position so that the beam from the launch hits the centre of the mirror and the output aperture is aligned down the rail of measurement. Attach the target to the launch. Now the pentaprism can be adjusted using the pitch and your thumb screws until the return beam hits the centre of the target. Remove the target from the launch and slide the mirror away from the input aperture of the pentaprism. Position the M unit so that the beam from the exit aperture of the pentaprism hits the centre of the target. Move the M unit to the far end of the rail. Adjust the yaw of the launch until the beam is centred on the vertical line of the target. Next, adjust the pitch of the pentaprism until the beam is on the centre of the target. Move the M unit back to the first measurement position. Make any necessary adjustments to the M unit so that the beam is back on centre. Attach the wireless module to the M unit and remove the target. Using the display unit, select the straightness measurement mode. Navigate to the Show Target function. The beam location on the PSD will now be displayed on the screen. Zero the laser reading and move the M unit to the furthest measurement position. Adjust the yaw of the launch until the horizontal reading is within alignment tolerance. Next, adjust the pitch of the pentaprism until the vertical reading is within alignment tolerance. Move the M unit back to the first measurement position. The process is repeated until the laser readings are within tolerance for the distance being measured. Now the test parameters can be set up. From within the straightness measurement mode, select the Show Tables function. Input the necessary parameters for the measurement of the reference rail. Select the green arrow to proceed to the data capture screen. Press either of the orange buttons to capture data along the reference rail.
After capturing the last point, the data can be saved. Now the procedure can be started to capture the measurement rail error. Attach the target to the launch unit and position the pentaprism in a suitable position in line with the measurement rail. Slide the mirror over the centre of the input aperture of the pentaprism and position so that the beam hits the centre. Now the pentaprism can be adjusted using the pitch in your thumb screws until the return beam hits the centre of the target. Remove the target from the launch. Move the M unit to the measurement rail and attach the target. Slide the mirror away from the input aperture of the pentaprism so that the beam now leaves the exit aperture. Position the M unit so that the beam is on the centre of the target. Remove the target. Using the display unit, select the straightness measurement mode. Navigate to the show target function. Zero the laser reading and move the M unit to the furthest measurement position. Adjust the pitch of the pentaprism until the vertical reading is within alignment tolerance. Move the M unit back to the nearest measurement position. Now the test parameters can be set up. From within the straightness measurement mode, select the show tables function. Input the necessary parameters for the measurement rail. Select the green arrow to proceed to the data capture screen. Press either of the orange buttons to capture data along the measurement rail. After capturing the last point, data can be saved. Test data can then be analysed using Carto. Navigate to the XK10 parallelism icon. Select the test data for the reference rail. Straightness data for the measured error can now be viewed for the reference rail. Now select the test data for the measurement rail. Straightness data for the measurement rail is now shown. Select the parallel straightness tab to analyse the parallelism data. Values displayed in the table will give the overall angular parallelism as well as other useful straightness data. The graph displays the parallel straightness at each point along the measurement rail against the reference rail. This data can be used to make the necessary adjustments to the machine. For more information, please visit www.renishaw.com forward slash XK10.